Moving on up at the Teed Up On Doors on Battle Run Avenue. Teed Up On Doors and Football and Focus for a Thursday. We've been through a few guests already. Got some great guests in now from Northwest Guilford, Thomas Morrell and Tanner Ballou. Tanner, our second shape player of the week on offense last week. Uh, the receivers must be seeing the ball pretty well for you right now because it's coming together for you pretty good. Yes, sir, definitely. Um, last week was definitely an improvement for them. They were seeing the ball, catching the ball. We really didn't have that many drops, and it was uh, definitely awesome. Talk about the special connection between you and Trent Cloud. You guys have been together since I saw you back for the first time against uh, Mendenhall, the Mustangs over at Mendenhall, the Deeb Jung Stadium over there. You guys are playing back in eighth grade. But talk about that connection between the two of you. Yes, sir. Trent, uh, he's always been, you know, my number one receiver throughout middle school and high school, and uh, I trust him, and he trusts me, which is that's an awesome connection, especially in high school. If you have a quarterback, trust a receiver, and the receiver trusts the quarterback. Um, so I know he's going to be open. I know he's going to catch the ball, and I know he's going to make those big plays. So um, if it's third and long, you know, I'm usually going to him, and he's a guy I can trust. Is it one of those plays where you just kind of throw it there and you know he's going to be there? Uh, some plays, you know, deep balls, I, I throw it to spots. And over the years, you know, I just throw it to the same spot, same spot, post goes. And, I mean, it's just he just knows where to go on deep balls. Shorter balls, you know, it's a little different each week, and it depends on, you know, if it's – Depends on the corner, depends on the defense. And he wears number two, right? Yes, sir. Do you find yourself often kind of surveying the defense and where's that number two at in case you need him? <laughs> no, I mean, uh, if it's third and long or, you know, a go ball, you know, if I see him running, see number two, you know, I, I chuck it up to him sometimes. Other receivers getting it done for you right now? Uh, we got Austin Mitchell. Uh, he's actually a sophomore. He's the first year starting. Um, I think he's a dog. Uh, he catches the ball, he really uh, gains some yards after the catch. Um, we got outside Quincy Bell, um, he's our other outside receiver. He's really good. Um, it's first year starting. He's a junior. Um, we also got uh, Rakim. Um, he's a freshman from Southwest. He played middle school at Southwest. He's going to be a stud um, in these next few years. And this year, he's just learning the offense and getting things going. But he's definitely doing really well. What about uh, life without Prince Brown at wide receiver? You look up sometimes, probably expect to see Prince out there. Still, he's now on defense. So, Sir. do you miss him? Uh, he plays a little bit of offense. He, I think he's going to say anything. They call like those special packages for him, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think, you know, he plays a little bit of offense. He still practices um, offense a little bit, um, but he's he loves corner and he's doing really well in it. And I think he loves it also. So I um, I think he's good there. The spot he's at. And from your coach's standpoint, it might be one of those things he's helping the guy out because it may help him further along his chances for some college scholarship money maybe down the road. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's he's a stud over there at corner. He loves it. What about uh, your top running back now, Malik Jones? Talk about what he's doing for you guys. He seems like he's come on pretty well for you. Yes, sir. He runs the ball as hard as he can every play, which that's what we need from a running back. You know, each play, uh, if he gets the ball, just runs it super hard, um, which I love and the offensive line loves it because, I mean, he breaks tackles every almost every play, and it's awesome. What about yourself? I mean, we talk about Malik on the ball. Have you uh, acclimated yourself maybe for a few runs this year? Have you been carrying the ball some? Yes, sir. I'm, uh, I always try to, you know, more each game. And I, I always try to run the ball as much as I can. But um, since my O-line, I mean, they've been doing really well this year. Um, it's always awesome to have a good O-line. So I try to, you know, run it as much as I can if I need to. The best to. thing is for you at quarterback is don't be hit. If the lineman can keep those defenders off. Mm -hmm. You're not taking any hits. That's a good thing, too. Yes, sir. Definitely. It's, it's awesome. What about uh, Northwest, Western Guilford's next, right? That's a big neighborhood game for you. Talk about that game yes, coming up next week. Um, we're in our bye week right now, so we're just, you know, we're getting ready for Western also and just stuff on our own. Um, so next week we'll get ready for Western. Um, they're, uh, they got some athletic dudes on defense, so, we, I mean, we're going to have to um, play our best game. And Northern Guilford's bigger, though, right? Yes, sir. The rivalry? Yes, sir. The rivalry, um, Northern is uh, – Definitely our biggest rivalry game, for Definitely sure. Definitely circled on the schedule, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. We actually, uh, whenever I, I put them on my schedule house, I, I say purple. Mm -hmm. um, I, don't, I don't call them northern. Just go so, by color. Yeah. Yep, definitely, wow. definitely. NG and NWG, big battle yep. in a few weeks. Yep. Wow. Later on, you got to try to take down Grimsley to win the conference championship. How does that go about it? How do you go about taking down a team like Grimsley? Um, so, you know, after Western, we'll, we'll see what happens. Go to that next week. We'll start on Monday, and, you know, we'll just get ready like every other week. Um, that's really what we try to do each week, even if it's a bigger game or, you know, in the playoffs and a huge game. Um, we try to just focus on the little things. So Monday, we'll do the same stuff every Monday, Tuesday, go into the next day. Um, so we focus one day at a time, and Grimsley is definitely a really good team and it's going to be a really hard matchup for us. So um, it's going to be interesting. In the back of your mind, it's still there somewhere, though. 
the Grims like that? Uh, you know, it, it's it, it would be awesome, you know, to play them uh, week one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's it's awesome to always play them. It's always a great game, and I love playing really good competition. We well, saw a game a couple years ago, Ragsdale, when they had uh, – Hinton Hooker's brother there, Austin Hooker, gave Grimsley a pretty good mm -hmm. game. So it's a possibility yep. they can be played to the max and can be beaten. So, yes, sir. so this thing's just got to continue on. you got Western and Northern and mm -hmm. continue down the road. And I know you're doing well right now and you're feeling good because last year you were up at Wataga. I think it was a Saturday night game, in fact. You played Saturday night. Yes, sir. And you got yes, that left arm broken, right? Yes, sir. Uh, wrist. 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 Left yes, wrist. Sir. I'm holding my wrist, so I'm thinking wrist. <laughs> How is that uh, done during the recovery? It's all back full steam now? Everything yes, good? sir. It's it's full steam. It's been full steam for a while now. No it's, problems. Yes, sir. It's it's awesome now that it's full Let steam. Let me ask you this. Something yes, I always sir. talk about with injuries. Have you taken any hits on that wrist yet since this season? No, I have not. Um, People have asked me, like, why don't you wear a brace? And, I mean, there's no reason to. It's full uh, full health right now, so it's it's definitely fine. Off week this week, where will you be tomorrow night? Friday night, no game, where will you be? Uh, so I'll probably throw after school with some receivers. Um, that's definitely – we don't have practice tomorrow. No so. practice, you're off on Friday. Yes, sir. Gotcha. That used to be the case, I think, for a lot of schools. You give them a Friday off, no game. So you'll just be throwing with your receivers and your yep. friends. And Yes, sir. What will you do that night, though? Yes. That's kind of unusual. Oh, you know, these football players always playing football games on Friday night. Uh, I'm actually going up uh, to visit my brother. Oh. Uh, he plays at William and Peace, so um, I'm going up to Raleigh uh, to stay with him tomorrow night, and uh, might go to the state Notre Dame game tomorrow or uh, Saturday. So you might Saturday. go to state Notre Dame game. Tomorrow. Maybe, maybe. That would be nice. Yep. Yes, sir. I'm glad you mentioned that because I was not even remembering that game is on set. That's a big game. It's early oh. in the season for NC State. It's such a huge game. It's early in the year. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually not a state fan. Mm -hmm. But um, I really love uh, Sam Hartman uh, at Notre Dame. He's yeah. he's a really good quarterback to look after for sure. And NC State's got the kid out of uh, Northern Guilford, the receiver, Northern a couple mm -hmm. years yep, ago. Yep, Terrell. Terrell Timmons. Yep. Mr. Timmons, yes, got to give him yep. his props. And he's they've also player. got Mr. Anderson from Grimsley going there too down there yep. for NC State. So yep. a very good talent locally for the Wolfpack. Yes, sir. Wow. Mm, big game. What time uh, is that game, do you know? 12 o'clock. 12 noon. Yep, it's at noon. <sighs> this early in the season, that Saturday afternoon heat, oh, 12 it's, noon, NC it's, State, Notre Dame. Oh, it's going to be hot. Mm. I, I, they played that game a couple years ago, and they had a, like a torrential mm -hmm. monsoon rain, yeah. and that was a nasty game, but yep. the State won, so it was, it was good. And Boy, I remember Philip Rivers against Notre Dame back in his yep. day when they beat them. So yes, great, great memories. Um, off week this week, now let's get another topic, then we'll get Thomas in here soon. For Tanner Ballou, Deion Sanders is the hottest name in – all of football right now? Is that uh, Deion Sanders? What about Deion right for, now? Yeah, for college football? Uh, I say all of football. Uh, I, I would say so. Is, I mean, I was, I mean I, here's how I wrote this question. I wonder how I wrote it. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be Deion the hottest name in all of football, or is it Thomas Orrell the hottest name in football? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I mean, Thomas. Oh, yeah, for us, he had a great game. What about Deion, I mean, though? Deion, I mean, he's nuts. I think he's a great coach, though. Uh, I think Colorado did some – Awesome things versus TCU, and I think they're gonna do really well this year. You picked them um, to beat Nebraska on Saturday. <clears throat> yes, so, yes, okay. I think they'll win big. Here's the other question for you, closing you out. Any news on your college for next year? I know you're visiting mm -hmm. schools and still hearing from schools. Any news on the future for mm -hmm. college? Uh, I don't. I'm not sure yet. I've been talking to some schools, a lot of schools, mm -hmm. and talking to coaches and texting them. So. I'm, I'm not sure right now, though, for sure. I heard sure. you had a talk with maybe Hampton, Sydney, mm -hmm. and visited there, maybe. Yes, sir. I took what did you think about there. that place? It's really nice. Um, the coaches were awesome, and it's a really cool place to go to school at and play football. So Division One, Division Two, II, Division mm -hmm. Three doesn't matter. Play college football. That's yes, the thing. sir. Yes, sir. I asked you this Definitely. before, maybe one time. If you had a chance to just go to school at a Division One college for academics only and not mm -hmm. play football, or go to Division Three and play football and the academics. What would your mm -hmm. choice be there? Uh, I'd play football. Got to Definitely. play football. Yes, sir. Next season, next fall, yes, sir. 2024, you'll be playing football somewhere. Definitely. All right. Tanner Definitely. Blue, thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. As always. It. Yep. Player of the Week, Stake and Shake Player of the Week, Tanner Blue. Again, the, which game was that again you won, got won that award for? Do you remember? RJ. RJ. Or, no, North Davidson. North, North Davidson. Davidson. Yeah, yep. Second yep. game of the second season. Second game of the season. Gotcha. Yes, Outstanding sir. job as always. Thank yep. you, sir. Appreciate it. Yep. Thanks for having me. Thomas Arrell next.